Here's an idea for how you could use voice AI to help free up receptionist time and help your customers manage their bookings and appointments without any manual work required. So the idea is when an appointment is created in your booking system, a Talents voice agent gets automatically scheduled to call your customer at a certain time ahead of their appointment, so say 24 hours before. This will allow the customer to confirm their attendance or ask to reschedule or cancel or ask any questions they need. And the AI agent can handle all of that. So it's connected to your booking system. It can book the new appointment for the customer if they need to, and everything is handled automatically. Okay, so let's do a quick demo of how this might work. So say this is our appointment booking page that customers can see and they can book their appointment online. And then this is my internal view of my business so I can see all the appointments that have already been made. So let's book something for Thursday, October 9th, 10 a.m. Let's change my name here to Kelly and the rest is fine. So obviously you'd wanna set it up to call the customer say 24 hours before their appointment, but I've just set this to call me like in a couple of seconds, just to demo it live. We can see there my appointment was created on October 9th at 10 a.m. So hoping to get a call now any second. There it is. Hello? I'm Kelly, I'm calling from Help Hub to confirm your appointment on October 9th at 10 a.m. Does this work for you? No, actually, I think I need to change that. No problem, Kelly. What date and time would work better for you? Would you have October 16th, 2 p.m.? Your appointment has been rescheduled to October 16th at 2 p.m. Thank you, Kelly. We look forward to seeing you at Health Club. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay. So let's see. Has it actually been rescheduled? Let me just refresh that. And yes, it has. So it got moved from the 9th to the 16th. And then I'll have received a confirmation email of the change. And everything is done without the receptionist or anyone to actually have to handle rescheduling. Okay, so let's book another one where I'm going to cancel it instead of reschedule. So we should receive the confirmation call. There it is. Hello. Hello, Jack. I'm calling from Health Hub to confirm your appointment on October 8th at 9.15 a.m. Does this work for you? I actually think I'm going to need to cancel that. Your appointment has been canceled. Thank you for letting us know, Jack. Have a nice day. Okay, so let's just make sure that was canceled. Yeah, so that was canceled and Jack will have received an email saying that his appointment was canceled. So this is our AI agent and we can see our conversation history. So this was the conversation with Jack and you can see the agent used these tools, the cancel appointment tool, which directly contacted our booking system Acuity and it removed the appointment from the calendar. So there's a lot of different ways you could implement this, but the key components are you build a voice agent with Telnex and add a phone number and that you have a booking system with APIs that ideally can send webhooks. I used N8N for the automation part, which worked really nicely. This is the flow. This is an Acuity node that's in N8N, but listens for the webhook from Acuity, which triggers this flow to start. And what it's doing is taking the information from Acuity that we need to schedule our call with the agent we're setting the details about our agent here. This is my assistant ID from Telnex that I created in the Telnex portal and the Telnex agent phone number. And it's passing on to this node, which is calculating the time to schedule the call for. Here I actually just put five seconds because this is what I was demoing. And then you're making a post request to the Telnex API to schedule this call with the agent. And the details about that are here but it's really easy to do it in N8N and then that just auto schedules the call. So N8N was really nice for this part of it. When it came to the live call, what I ended up doing was, I'll just show you here. So this was the booking software on appointment created. We're triggering this flow, but when the actual call initiates, what happens is Telnex 
sends a webhook to retrieve dynamic variables. As you probably noticed in the demo, the agent is saying, hello, Tom, and it knows the time of the appointment. And that's because when the call initiates, it's sending this webhook and getting back that information. And it's using that throughout the call. This was the information it got back from the webhook. You could add in more like has the customer paid or more information if you wanted to make it more useful. And what I found was using N8N, it was just a little bit too slow. So with the help of Claude Code, I spun up this really simple microservice with fast API and Superbase. So then on the call, the agent can get that information back really quickly to be able to talk to the patient about their appointment, but it also uses it in these webhook tools to use the APIs on the scheduling or the booking software to reschedule or cancel the appointment. And you can see that in the Telnix agent builder. This is the URL for the webhook. And then here are our cancel and reschedule appointment tools. As you can see, it's using one of the dynamic variables, Acuity ID, to use this API to cancel the appointment on Acuity and same with reschedule. If I go to conversation history, we can see that the agent used the reschedule appointment tool to hit the Acuity, the booking software API to reschedule the appointment like I asked to.